Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, silence is not always golden. You're in the heat of a terrible argument with your partner. You burst into tears and confess your most vulnerable feelings, literally pouring your heart out. And when you're done, in the silence that follows, through your sobs, you ask, oh, please, please say something, anything. And they just stand there, not saying a word. Oh, you cry. I can't believe you won't say anything after all I've just told you. You're horrible. And you run from the room to throw yourself across the bed, thinking, how could anyone be so heartless? Well... Maybe they're heartless, but chances are they just didn't hear you. Didn't hear me, you wail. I was talking perfectly clearly and very loudly, and there's no way they didn't hear me. And yet, in all likelihood, I assure you, they didn't hear you. You see, hearing is done not just with the ears. Hearing is done with the mind. And many people, when in the presence of someone fraught with emotion, cease to hear you. It's as if when your emotion is so powerful, it takes up all the other person's attention and energy at the time, and they have none left over for the words. They even have none left over to tell you, hey, I can't hear your words past your emotion, if they are even aware of what's going on at the time, which, frankly, is unlikely. This is equally true of anger. In broad terms, anger and tears are the two emotions which seem to take up the most attention and energy from the listener. The more agitated or stormy the anger or tears, the more difficult it is for people to listen to the words. So, you say, what are you telling me? That I can't get angry or cry when I have something important to say? Well, in a word, yes. Oh, certainly get angry, cry, express yourself emotionally as feels necessary and right for you. Just don't try to talk at the same time. So many women, in particular, think that their partners are emotionless blobs, when what is really going on is that, generally speaking, men are incapacitated by tears. Their minds just turn off hearing anything, and they will either say things they don't really mean or say nothing at all in order to cope. So, ladies, using tears as a ploy is ineffective. In the short run, he may give you whatever you want, but in the long run, he didn't really hear a word you said and won't be able to genuinely respond to what was going on for you. Women, in general, are incapacitated by anger. When a man comes at us with violence or threat of violence, our brains go on hold. It's all we can do to grab onto How how do I defend myself or how do I protect myself here? The thought of actually listening at that point is impossible. Certainly these are generalizations. Many women don't cope well with tears and many men can't listen past anger. But it might help you better understand your partner if you take this generalization into account. Respect your emotions. Express them in, in, in appropriate ways. Absolutely. Then, when you're calm and able to do so with minimum emotion, talk and talk and talk. Say it all because now you can and will be heard. Thank you for listening to Up and check out my new book, Phoenix Rising Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website noelnelson.com or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. And until next time, be well and take care.